When I say bananas, you say peppers. Today on this channel, I'm gonna do a does this thing really work? I don't know why, just felt like doing it here for once. Also look, <gasps> over the weekend my burn has pretty much healed. I think there's gonna be a scar there, so probably for the next year and a half, I will have so many hickey comments, I won't even know where to start. It's everybody's favorite day of the week, the day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today we have a product all the way from Japan. This product is called Ear Floss. Before we get started, let me slip into something a little bit more comfortable slash take my jacket off. Too cold outside, too hot inside. It's the struggle of winter time, my least favorite season. Sippy sippy. Also, if your birthday is in January or winter, I see that comment all the time where it's like, oh, Bunny just dissed my birthday month. I love your birthday, but I hate January. Let's actually get into today's product. You guys may or may have not noticed that last year I got this ear re-pierced. Like for the entire time that I've been on YouTube, I always only had piercings in one ear and I took all the piercings out of this ear. And then I was hanging out one day with Leanne last year and she wanted to go get her ears re-pierced for her wedding. And I feel like if you go to a piercing shop or a tattoo parlor with a friend, like you can't just go for support. You also have to get something done. So I decided I was going to just get uh, two holes re-pierced in my ears. Now, that was a very juicy choice that I do not regret, but I do sometimes regret the earrings that I chose. This one, I don't even think you guys are really gonna be able to tell what it is. It's supposed to be a spike, which is definitely my life's aesthetic, but when I have it on, it just basically looks like nothing. And this one I do love. It is a skull and it's pretty cool. But I kind of feel like the bar is way too long or the front of the skull is way too heavy. It always looks like this. Like it was perfect when my ear was all swollen and gross from having the piercing just done. But now it's just, I, just what's happening here? I don't know. I've never taken these earrings out since I got this done last March. I believe. So there's probably a bunch of crusty weirdos living in my ear holes. And I got these really cute earrings for Christmas. They are just these basic little hoops that I love because then I can like just dingle dangle all kinds of different random stuff in them. And also I got this little guy. He's a little extraterrestrial. And I just feel like I need more aliens in my ears. I ripped off all of my plaid nail polish today and I am disgusted by what a monster I am. I just sat there and peeled off all my gel polish. So that's kind of what my long-winded story was getting to is I think it's time that I clean these piercings and that I change these earrings and so in waltzed this product, which I saw late at night on Instagram, as I do most things, and I saw people putting ear floss in their ear holes. I really don't know how else to describe it. I cannot open this, and I have no scissors, so it's just gonna be pliers. That's how we're opening this today. You never know what you're gonna see on this channel. Um, actually you do. I'm a pretty predictable person, but you know, I try and spice it up every now and again. I thought that there was going to be some English instructions on here, but there's not. And I re-looked at the Amazon page, hoping there would be some instructions there, but there's not. Um, so we're just going to have to go by the pictorial, which basically looks like you select a piece of floss, dip it in this solution, and, um, uh, floss your ears with it. There were a couple of different, I guess, scents or flavors that you could pick. So I went with mint. I think that the other one was pink and it was called rose, but I always, always will pick mint. I love mintiness wherever I can get it. I love this little holder. Like you can just set it by your sink, by your toothbrush, you know, brush your teeth, floss your ears. It's gonna be your new life's daily routine. So uh, it looks like we've got this, which is shockingly thick pieces of floss. I don't know how I feel about this. Let's open it up. 
and wow it is also kind of stiff which is not what the video depicted at all uh they basically showed that it was like a string and maybe once we wet it it will have more give but this is what we're dealing with right now um oh I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell the very subtle difference, but on this end, it has a little bit of a green tint to it, and it also feels a little bit stiffer. And I think that that's so you kind of have like a way to thread it through, you know, like the post of an earring. Now it's the moment of truth, which is, am I gonna even be able to take this earring out? Because I have attempted one or two other times to no avail. The video might just be over now because I might not even be able to take these earrings out. So very experimental here on Banana Peppers. The video might just conclude abruptly with me testing nothing. I think I've asked about, oh, oh wow, that was a uh, very anticlimactic. Oh gosh, diddly darn. Is this broken now? This whole thing is like bent and weird. And I thought it just broke, but it didn't. It's just kind of like bent permanently now. Oh, you guys at home guide me through this experience because I don't know about you guys, but even changing the most subtlest thing about my life makes me incredibly nervous. Like I am so superstitious that I'm like, don't change your earrings. That's just what's going on in my brain, okay? Maybe I shouldn't tell you guys that anymore because I do just feel like I get so many comments these days about how I'm crazy, I'm on the brink of a mental breakdown, and I'm like, you guys, I am feeling better now than I have in years. Yeah, probably like two years, definitely in several months. Like, I am eating my fruit, I am drinking my water, I am exercising every day. I'm no crazier than I've ever been. Send me to Shutter Island. Anyway, moving along. The other thing that we have here is a vial of ear cleansing juice. And I'm gonna open it now. We're gonna smell how minty it is. Ooh, very minty. Like if you liquefied toothpaste and shoved it in a tube. That's what that smells like. I kind of like it and I'm also disgusted by it. What's the technical term for expanded? Stretched, I guess you could say. Gaged, isn't that the word I'm looking for? I wonder if I could put like thicker earrings in here. Like that definitely doesn't look normal, right? That's actually probably good that it's stretched out a little bit, honestly, because that was the one thing that I read on Amazon reviews a lot and now I can see why. I feel like this, uh, floss is too thick if you just have like normal gauged non-stretched piercings like this this is hella thick you guys you are supposed to soak the string in the liquid so it does get a little bit softer but it doesn't seem like it really changed that much here we go Ooh, that feels creepy just Sticking that through. Ugh. I don't know what I thought was gonna happen here. Um, this is actually kind of like a fashion statement. Like this, ooh, it just like feels like, like it feels entirely different than an earring because it does have more of like a thread fibery consistency. So it kind of like, it's almost like gritty. Can I say that? Um, but let's keep going. I think maybe you're just supposed to pull it through. I don't necessarily know if you're supposed to floss back and forth. Oh my gosh, I'm shocked you guys. Look at that. It came out completely clean. I don't see any ear debris. I'm so shocked. I must have very clean ears. <laughs> I don't know if this is satisfying or disgusting. It definitely feels better when you get like a little bit of the liquid in there because it kind of has like a cooling menti sensation. I'm definitely glad that I went with mints because I do feel mentiness inside of my ear. Can you imagine if somebody called me right now and asked me what I'm doing and I'd have to just be like, I'm flossing my ears. <laughs> Ooh, okay, it's definitely starting to feel 
a little much as I'm like over exaggeratorily seesawing back and forth. Let me, oh, you know what? I need to, I need to disinfect these earrings first. I have a little alcohol pad right here. Of course I do. Never leave home without them. I hope I'm going to be able to get this earring in by myself because I feel like it was, should I even say this out loud? I feel like it was really hard. Oh, wow. Okay, this one, I feel like it's a different design. This one definitely twists and opens up a lot more than these did. I remember this was like really hard to get in my ear. I had to have my mom help me. <laughs> I've had these in my ears now for so long, I don't even remember. I remember I got these little rings because I saw everybody on 21 Jump Street wearing these. Like I went through a whole phase in my life where I just watched 21 Jump Street every day. I don't mean the movie with whoever is in that movie. I mean the classic series from the 80s. And um, Oh my god, this guy, who is he? I have to look up his name now, excuse me. It's gonna drive me crazy if I don't tell you guys this story, which maybe nobody cares about, but I'm gonna tell you. The actor's name is Peter DeLuise, and oh my god, just look at this. This guy became my fashion freaking icon. Where is he? What is he doing? Why haven't I seen him? Where are you? I saw him do it and then I wanted to do it. Wish me luck. Oh, that does not feel good. <laughs> These are so painful. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, it hurts. I keep thinking I succeeded and then just failed. Sorry guys, I'm like disappearing down here to try and close this earring. Two minutes and 36 seconds is how long that took. I feel like that's like a really <laughs> big earring to like commit to wearing all the time. I feel like somehow it's, yeah, it is longer than the safety fence. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about sleeping and having an alien just stab me in the neck all night. This one's gonna be really hard to take out. Ow! I say that every time and then it's like not that hard. Ew! You guys wanna see the grossness? I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. Ugh. There is like some junk on that one. It's not good junk. Yeah, this is kind of heavy. I don't know. I love the way it looks. And I love like when I have jewelry on that like jingles, like when you have a charm bracelet or something. It's kind of my favorite thing is to like wear a charm bracelet and then to try and explain something. I feel like I talk with my hands a lot. And so it's just like, make sure we've got a string covered in minty juice. Ow, gosh. Diddle. Why is this one more painful? Other than like a weird and also sometimes pleasant sensation, I don't really know that like I'm experiencing any life altering kind of thing going on here. The piercing is a little smaller here, um, but it definitely feels weirder. Like the more contact I guess that your piercing makes with the floss like it feels more abrasive I guess is the only way that I can put it like I would definitely have to agree with the Amazon reviewers if you don't have a piercing that's slightly bigger than a normal piercing then I don't think it would work I'm gonna try and take this earring out which I have not taken out in a 10 years. I'll just see if I can get the floss through that. I'm just going to go ahead and cut away while I thread this second loop in my ear. Well, I'm sure it's fun to hear me be way over dramatic about putting an earring in my ear. I'm just going to spare you guys the second experience of that. Brand new earrings, one very red irritated ear. I don't know if any of you guys at home are like this, but if I get kind of upset about something, like my ear both or one will just start to get really red or sometimes if I just merely touch my own skin like I just don't know what causes that I feel like I touched this ear once and now it looks like flaming red ew okay yeah this is definitely about to get disinfected like this looks really um unpleasant so that piercing just looks weird I like regret taking this earring out and I know I'm gonna get so much sassiness in the comments, but you guys, I was in college and whatever. I got this piercing done at Claire's. <laughs> I actually had every piercing done at Claire's except for this one and these that I just got redone. Dip in the floss in the floss sauce. Why didn't they call this floss sauce? That would have been so great. It's like the piercing doesn't match up with the with where the skin is pierced, but once again, I got it done at Claire's, so. 
what did they do to me? There we go. It definitely is harder to pull through a normal gauged piercing, but it can be done. And once again, I'm just shocked that there's nothing on this because this piercing did look kind of gross. This was, I think like $12.99 on Amazon. Like couldn't even finish this video and do an outro without sticking this earring back in. It's so funny how like, I feel like if I switch any of my normal stuff, like I just feel naked. Overall, I guess we say this product does work. Maybe it's more intended for people that just got fresh piercings when you're kind of more in that crusty, dusty kind of stage where you've got a lot of stuff to either be like wiping away or whatever. Um, when I just got these piercings done, the guy who did it literally told me to do nothing. He said like put nothing on it. I feel like different piercers always give different advice. So I don't know what everybody's doing out there. I don't know. It is kind of like a fun, silly, weird, interesting product to try and it's not that expensive. So let me know what you guys think about this product. Would you want to try it? Would you want to use it? Do you think it's useless? As evidenced by these three pieces of floss, I didn't really clean anything out of my ears, at least that I could visibly tell. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. Subscribe today, become a member of the Banana Peppers squad, and until I see you guys again, which is hopefully going to be very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery, and I will see y'all guys later. Bye!